So while Kurt is prepared to cover up this eyesore, let me show you guys where we started. Look at this. This is, it's as organized as I can get it, but I don't like it. It's an eyesore and I hate it. So I came up with a creative way to cover it up. It's not completely covered, but it looks better than this. Living for weekends, wishing I could take a break from this world. Running on a hamster wheel, but searching for something I can't feel. I just wanna be a lost girl. And hey, you guys, this video is way overdue. Way, 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 way up do. And I'm sorry, I just, you know, life, life happens. And you guys wasn't reminding me like, hey, Nikki, we still didn't see your dining room and office space. Well, you guys, honestly, you have. The apartment is very small, so what you do see in passing when I'm walking around the apartment is pretty much it. But I'm gonna take you through everything so that you'll understand exactly what you're looking at. If you are looking for a way to organize that small space, then you've come to the right place. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through everything in this dining room slash office space. If you do not know, you guys, I moved from a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two story home into a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. Yes, don't even ask me how and don't even remind me, okay? <laughs> but I was determined to utilize the space well. I did not know Texas very well at that time, so I wanted to go someplace I felt safe and to utilize the space. Now, in the near future, will we move into a house? Absolutely. But in the meantime, I had to make do with what I had. So let's start over here on this wall. This picture on my wall speaks volume. I had to have it. I got this picture from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember what I paid for it, but these are not that cheap as they might appear, okay? It says, speak in such a way that others love to listen to you and listen in such a way that others love to speak to you. Period, nothing more to be said. Nothing more to be said, okay? That's it, that's all. Like, it, but it's a reminder. It's not something I would typically put in my dining area, but because my dining area shares with my office space, it's a great reminder. So when I'm on the phone with customers, or if I'm talking to somebody who's upset about their order, or it's taking too long, or miscommunication, it's a friendly reminder that I need to speak to people in such a way that they will hear me and also vice versa listen in such a way that people will want to speak to me. So moving on to my table, I'm sorry that it has fall decor you guys. My original decor for this table is silver or gray, whatever you want to call it. it. It flows right into my living room, but it's fall decor right now because of the time that I'm doing this video. But I got this round table that I thought was pretty cute and small. I wanted to go with something round so that it would fit the space. It has four chairs. There's four of us who live here. So it's perfect. I did leave the plastic on the chairs on purpose because I feel like when I move into a house, you guys, I would probably sell this and allow somebody else who actually can use this set to have it because yeah i like to have like six to eight chairs in my kitchen dining area now moving on this mirror that i have on the wall that you guys might see and you might see me walk past this mirror actually allows this space to open up so when i walk in or when you walk in it appears a lot larger than what it really is in here. I bought this for something else. It was not even purchased for this apartment, but I decided to put it to use and I put it right over my chest freezer. Because I am a person that cooks and I'm used to cooking for a large family, I do believe in buying bulk 
and freezing it. And so that's why I have the chest freezer, which works as well. Then you'll also notice that I have my wigs behind this sheer curtain, which is all of my mannequins where I have the wigs. If let's just say she's going to a new home or I need to comb my hair, I will store her on the wig before packaging it. They're always out dolled up pretty and ready to go when it's time for them to go. I'm gonna insert a clip now of what this space used to look like. Yeah, I know. It looks so tacky, didn't it? Oh my God, y'all, I hated this space. Like, I could not take seeing all the different colors and my towels and all of that because this apartment does not have a linen closet. I thought that was bananas, but it doesn't. So I had to create one with something that was actually used for my business. So I had to repurpose a lot of things in my space. This wire rack used to have business stuff on it and now I have my second printer on it and then also my linen. So I had her just to put up these, I found these nice chair curtains at Ikea and what I loved about them, they were tall enough to touch the ceiling and drape the floors. I had to have them when I seen them. I actually bought them for my bedroom and they're being used here. Do I like them here? I don't. The reason that I don't like them here because you can still see the eyesore behind it. So I might come up with some way to add something else into my curtains or I might just change the curtains out altogether. But for now, that's what it is. Now we're moving on to the other side. This is where I keep all of my stock. I bought this big huge shelving unit from Ikea. I paid $65 for it because it was in the clearance rack. It did not have shelves. I took measurements. I went to Home Depot. I purchased wood, had them to cut it out to my measurements, came home, painted them, and here we are. Gotta get creative, y'all. You, you, you just gotta. Before we move on, everything that I have in here that I can get a link for you will be linked in the description box and or the comments. I will try my best to pin it in the comments as well. But I got these two desks on this side uh, because yeah, I, I, I needed it. And so this is what this looks like. I'm gonna run through this really quickly. This is my sewing machine and this is the area in which I stitch and create my units for my customers. This originally was not supposed to, this just wasn't how it's supposed to go. It will be linked down below where I got everything from, okay? But, so I'm gonna run through this real quick. When I got this originally, I had two spaces. This computer will never ever go anywhere. I will have it until it blows up, okay? This was my mother's uh, computer. And so, it's never going anywhere. And it's, it, it works. It's, it was a Christmas gift to her. And uh, I didn't take much to convince my daughter to give it to me, so because my daughter bought it for her for Christmas. So this will never go anywhere. So originally this computer was supposed to be here. My laptop was supposed to be there. I was going to order two chairs, which this is my little uh, chair that I got. And if you notice everything, because it's so close to my living room, it flows, it matches. Everything in here is also white and silver gray whatever you want to call it and i know it could use a bit more organization but this is just what it is i'm gonna start over here this i this is just when i'm bleaching not so i want it to have easy access this is my sewing machine again like i said where i create the units these are just little notebooks well this is a receipt book but these are like no little notebooks and i love to have uh, things on the front that will 
remind me, you know, motivation, make it happen, things like that. I wanted my workspace to be a positive, fun type of inviting space. So I did get these like little emoji things that I thought were cute and also funny that I put up. This one is from a video you guys saw me create. It was originally supposed to go over here, but the desk was not supposed to be this full. It just happened that way, and so I really don't have a place to put it. It is basically sitting on top of like business cards, tags, when I tag my wigs and all that kind of stuff. It's sitting on that. I don't need to go in and out of it, so this is the perfect place for it to sit, the only place that it could sit. As you can see, I do order some of my things from Vista Print. This, I love this thing. You just usually change this, and let me change it because today is actually the 24th. I just bought the thing and thought it was cute and I never changed it. Oh my God, see, I'm struggling. Where's a four? Oh, okay, I got it, all right. So today is actually 24th. She always changes it. I feel like she just completely took over my area because she's always on this computer. This Bluetooth is hers. These are her glasses and this is her headphones. She just took over my desk. But I work over here sometimes. Uh, a lot of times I'm more comfortable on the couch. A lot of times I'm on the go editing. It doesn't matter. Me and my lovely laptop will get to work wherever we need to get to work. Okay. Also, I don't want to zoom in on this. This is my Texas permit for me to operate my business. One of uh, my like tax things. I don't want to get too close because that's personal. I might actually blur that out, but just know that that's what that is. And to keep me from losing it, I stuck it there. I normally like to frame that stuff, but I haven't gotten a frame. So I just kind of stuck it up there. This is uh, orders. This is where I usually keep my orders and of course everything is flipped backwards for the privacy of my customers. But that is how I keep track of what orders need to be filled and then what orders I finished, finished up. So that's how I keep track of that. That's what that is. Um, is there anything, oh, I got this cute little thing. I think this was at like Dollar Tree or something like that. And it just says girl boss, hashtag girl power. This was just to motivate Jazz because she was once in business and it didn't really work. She's, she, she just, her business went by the wayside, which is why I am selling all of the Versagel that I have in stock. If you want it, you guys, I am letting it go for the low, low. Down here on the bottom, it doesn't look quite neat, but this is my shredder. As you can see, I actually do use it. Um, that's where, you know, all the private information, everything is shredded. I have um, more uh, face shields there. This is just like a lot of tax stuff I keep in there. And then down there is just like miscellaneous stuff, light bulb. Um, just miscellaneous stuff. I have to get to organizing that at some point. This, this thing here, I don't know if you guys seen in the vlog. I went with Jazz and she had me at that dog on thrifty store and I saw it. But the issue with this is it doesn't have a hangy thing on the back of it. Guys, this is my dining room that I repurposed as an office space and warehouse, technically. I hope you guys gained some inspiration so that you can figure some things out with your small space should you need to. I had a good time decorating this place when I first got here. And so I'm happy with the way that things are while I'm here, but I do plan on gaining more space at some point. But for now, this is working for us. And I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs this video up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell, make sure it's set to all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.